Hello. I've been eBay job lot shopping again. Dave not included. But everything on this table is from a job lot that was $34.99. And it includes... This is a VR headset for the PlayStation. And this is the version 2, which has got the 4K pass-through, which is nice. It's also got this Nacon PS4 controller. Some Steel Series Arctis 7, I believe these are. Oops. There's also PS4 controller charger, a PlayStation 4 camera, and a charging cradle for a Turtle Beach Elite 800TX, which I don't have, so it's kind of pointless. Also, these headphones don't have a dongle, so don't think I can do anything with those until I pick up a dongle. This already works. I just cleaned it, and it charges two controllers perfectly fine. This also works. It's an Xbox 360 memory unit with a whopping great 64 megabytes on it. And I haven't tested any of these PlayStation 4 things here. So let's do just that. I'm going to start with the PlayStation VR because it's the thing I was most interested in in this job lot anyway. Now I should say in the listing it said that these were all untested. So I'm fully expecting none of it to work. But let's look at the VR first. Nice. Right, let's get this thing all wired up. Nice. Right, let's power this on. Excellent. Now this PlayStation 4 has not been used for a while. But the good news is... It's going through this box, so it is obviously passing the signal through. It's got the HDMI out for the PlayStation 4 going into this box, and then this HDMI cable is going to the TV. So it looks like this is working. So I'm guessing the problem is with this, if there is indeed a problem at all. Let's hope so, otherwise this video is going to be a bit dull. Ah, you need the camera, don't you? Right, I'm going to have to test the camera now and see if that works because I can't do the VR without the camera. <laughs> I think the camera works. Excellent. Right, well let's try powering the headset on. Ah, there we go. PlayStation VR. I hadn't plugged the USB cable in, which is a schoolboy error. Right, so it is there. Right, so it's recognising it. Get the VR headset to the process unit and turn on the VR headset. Right, okay, let's turn it on. Right, beeps. And it's recognised it. Alright, well this is all very promising so far. Right, well let's see if there's anything on this uh, display. Oh, VR headset disconnected. Ah, okay. So it's disconnected when I've moved it. Is that going to be a cable issue then? Let's try it on anyway. Yeah, there's nothing on the screen. Let's try the old off and on again. Oh! Oh! Oh, it flickered on. It flickered on, then went off. It flickered on, then went off. Is it a cable issue? It's come back on. It's come back on. It's gone off. Right. It's got to be a cable issue. Let me see if I can show you this. Right, there's nothing there, is there, at the minute? Let's see if I can get it to come back on. There, there you go. There it is. And it's gone off. So let's have a look at this cable. I mean, it looks fine here and actually moving that bit didn't make any difference let's follow the cable all the way around ah it doesn't look great around here it looks it looks a bit chewed see that let's carry on going yeah there's a little bit there as well. I wonder whether this cable's been run over by a chair or something. Yeah, it seems fine all the way down apart from this area here. 
So, what can I do with this? Ah, it's just disconnected. And I'm touching this bit. Yeah, it's disconnected now. So there's, there is obviously something going wrong inside there. Tell you what, let's turn all this off. I made Dave his own headset so he didn't feel left out. Thought it was only fair. Right, so let's have a look at this sheathing. And let's see if we can... Uh, See if we can pick it apart and try and work out where the break is. Right, just while I'm de-sheathing this, I'll just give a shout out to my Holy Hand Grenade patrons. And I now have another one. So, Tidder, Taylor Helton, Ellis Garbutt and Jamrag Berlin. Thanks guys, much appreciated. Right, okay, well I can see some... Oh god. So I presume around the outside that's just the ground that's like a shielding um hmm and then we've got all the individual wires there i might have to get this under the microscope i expected to see one completely snapped but let's get it under the microscope it'd probably be easier hmm um I can't really... Ah, okay, what's that there? It can't just be that, surely. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of wires here. The very fact that the string, for want of a better word, is snapped there, and all I can see is that. But it doesn't look like it's broken. I mean, I'm not convinced that's the problem because they look like they're joined to me. I think I'm going to plug it in now, like that. I'm wondering whether, because it was exposed wire, whether it was it was shorting against the uh, the the ground wire. Right, so that's it plugged in and all hooked back up. Let's try and power it on. Right, it still powers on. Um, yeah, well, it's not on. So, what is going on? Well, I think I've been through all of them. Blue one looks a little bit damaged here. That one's got a little bit of a crush on it. That one is visibly damaged, but shorting, shorting them together doesn't seem to make this come on. So I'm guessing they're still connected, but that's all I can see. So it's got to be one of them. But at the minute, there's nothing on the screen. It's not even flickering on like it was before. Right, so what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to just try and probe here and then see if it comes up on this, either of these two cables here. So let's try the HDMI one first. You, you can't see what I'm doing here, but that's because it's, it's really quite difficult with only one pair of hands. Ah, yeah, it's coming up on the power connector. So it is connected, that. Yeah, it's coming up on this one, sort of in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really getting anywhere here. I mean, maybe the brake isn't there. Maybe it's further down. But I don't really want to expose too much of this wire because I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to recover it. I mean, I'm making hard work of this, aren't I? But it's really quite difficult to uh, to know what to do. Right. Okay. I, I think I might be looking in the wrong place, even though that is where it looked like it was the worst. I think I might have to strip it back more round here. Oh, wow. Okay. It's come on. Has it come on? I think it's come on. It has come on. It's gone off. I'm going to strip this back here. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but you can see it's... It has been squashed, I think. Well, let's touch this area. There you go. Flickered then. Yeah, it's definitely here. It's definitely here. Wow, right. It really doesn't look that bad in this area, but... Aha. Aha. Definitely a crushed area here. At the minute, the orange one is the prime suspect. Yeah. 
I can't work that out. That looks like a wire around a wire. Is it? I'm going to plug it in now. And I'm going to see if by messing around with this it goes on and off. Right, well it's on now. So that doesn't appear to be the problem. Must be another one. Or was that shorting against the ground? That's very possible, isn't it? Let's just... It's gone off. It's gone off and messing about with this wire does not alter that. It's gone back on. Right, so it's a different wire. Whew. This is really quite frustrating. Right, it's just come on again. Why? Where is it? Where is it? Ah! Right, I've now stripped that entire area back. Oh, where is this break? Because this is the only one I can visibly see the damage on, I'm going to attempt to patch this up. Because I'm not getting anywhere moving the wires around, and I don't... I don't understand. Moving that orange one doesn't seem to make any difference. But you can see it's visibly broken there, so... Let's try and reattach it. I mean, like I said, there's, there's two wires here. There's the outer bit, and then another wire inside, I think. Right, there we go. There's no going back now. Right, let's try and get that little tiny bit of heat shrink on. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Right, I think that's got it now. Let's put the hink shriek over it. Right, hopefully that's going to be nice and solid now. Let's try it. <laughs> right, well it's not that, because it's not come on and moving the wires around. The other wires, not the orange one, make, still makes it flicker on and off. So, oh. Right, well at least I can eliminate the orange wire as being the problem. Right, it's on now. It's not going off. What's going on? It's gone off. Alright, let's strip some more of it back. Don't know how I'm going to put all this cable... Ah, oh, it's right there. Yep, look at that right there. That's going to be it, isn't it? Definitely. Well, not definitely. I said that last time, I think. But that is, again, pretty, pretty bad damage. Yeah, it's gone off. As soon as I touched it, it went off. Right, that is it. That is the problem right there. My... God, I'm going to have to do exactly what I did with the last wire. I'm going to have to do it on this one as well. So I'll cut it back. I'll join. I don't know if it's just one wire, actually. This it might be. I hope it is. Um, but I'll cut it back. And then we'll uh, solder it back together and put some heat shrink over it. Uh, once again, it's a wire within a wire. Right, time to test. We're on. Yes! Get in! Right, stay on. Let's move this around. Ho 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 That was the problem right there. Yeah, staying on. Staying on. Oh yes! Right, now I've got the fun task of trying to get all this back together to make some kind of a cable again. Because I can't leave it like that, can I? 
And I can't use heat shrink because I can't get the heat shrink over the end of these cables because they're far too big. I don't really want to use insulation tape because it's not going to look great. Uh, I wonder if there's a way of cutting heat shrink, you know, snipping along the length of it and then... Uh, I don't think it would work, would it? I didn't have any insulation tape, so I had to use duct tape. Is it duct tape or duct tape? It looks absolutely awful. <laughs> but I think it'll probably do the job. Oh, God. As long as it works, who cares? Let's try and plug it in. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can have a game. Hey, hey, can you see that in there? Excellent. Wow. Oh, I haven't got the bloody. I'm gonna be able to play the game without the. Right now, I've got the. Uh... All clear. Let's try it on... Let's go hard! I have played this before, but it was a long time ago. Oh. Keep me on the table! Stop hitting the table! <laughs>